hi there this is people fps um right now we're here in satisfactory in my test lab of hyperloop catapult i've gone through some quite some iterations on designs to try to get the one that works the most and this is the easiest way to set up and takes the least amount of space and energy and this is the design i came up with that works for me almost all the time um, it's uh, it works like this you enter this purple tube you get sped up through this loop over a row over and over again until you reach a final speed when you reach it it will send you through this hyperloop which catapults you at a 45 degree angle for now that can be varied and the other way around it's exactly the same you just enter this tube and on your uh, on reaching the, the critical velocity you will exit through this loop um, let's go down and have a look at it in action so i will enter purple it will speed me up to speed um, let's turn off fog so we can see even when we're high. Okay, so we have been launched at a speed of show debug physics. 2D speed on the top left corner is, corner is 11245. So we will land, uh, land exactly here. Um, I will teleport back to start. And let's try out the other entrance and see if it works speeding up again and leave at a 45 degree angle of 14692 don't fucking ask me why we're fast this way but we are have I really set this to 45 I'm not sure I am not sure okay no <laughs> this is not the 45 degree tube um, let's build degree exit this way and now we can see it again Eleven two four five. so it worked exactly the same again it gets you up to quite some height as you can see I'm leaving the map now so I will teleport back to start and show you how to build this one um, let's start Let's get some foundations going. So you go to HyperTube support, and you I place it like this first. Then you go back one, two, three, four ticks, and one to the right. Then you take out your HyperTube. Press R. Oh, sorry. Press R while placing, and then you choose conveyor 2d and in this placement mode you try to do the first and smallest loop possible with it going blue next to one of your starts same thing on this side so we now have these two loops and it's really crucial that you really do take uh, set it to conveyor 2d it won't work otherwise it does not work with noodle although you can make tighter loops but they won't accelerate you in the same way as the conveyor 2d loop does and now there's only one thing to do take this one place a new one one two three to the right and one to the back same thing on the other side it's like one two three one to the back okay um, you make entrances this is an entrance this is an entrance this side also and oh no it's correct this side too and now what are we doing we're giving it power so this is in a modded server as you can see maybe so it does not need power poles I will just hook them up together and it will work um, let's put this out of the way and have the shortest 45 degree exit that you can build as far as I know um, it's if you you take noodle go in a little bit in front up and 
then you can choose between the 45 degrees and the other ones. Um, let's launch us at 45 degrees, this side, 45 this side, this side as well. Um, like that. And I'd say let's go. So if it, everything goes correctly, we will be launched north. And it really almost always does. That's why this is the design I build. We have almost the exactly same velocity as we had in the tube before. So we should land almost at the same spa uh, place again. So this is, this is how to build it. I will post plans later. But this is how it works and how I build it. You can get with a parachute, you can go through the whole map. Let's show this one. Um, not sure if we really need 45 degrees, but let's take a parachute and have a little journey. Parachute is on. Accelerating. Fire. And at the top, you simply press space when going down. It will open up your chute. And then we sail away to the map. So this really gets us very, very far without needing a jetpack, just with a parachute and only 30 megawatts of power. I think, yeah, you can do this with one generator so you can build it in a remote area, have some wood or biofuel and have you launched all back to your base again. So this is how we get around in our base. This is the fastest way I know of without spending too much of megawatts. Um, as you can see, we're traveling to the skies. And then when you're ready to land, you just get out your jetpack and land. So this is one thing I've built. Um, next one is uh, this special contraption. It's the same entry again. It only goes one side. And there we have exits that are choosable from and this is bonus content so if you were just here for the launcher you it's already shown um, I get in here and then we have some like how should I say stations if I hold C I go through the station and accelerate if I don't hold C I stop at the station so this is built this way it's the yeah, wall conveyor. And if you press C, you slide directly through it and go further to the next station while even accelerating some more. Um, but if you don't hold C, you slam into it without losing any health and you are stopped at the station. Um, right now I'm still experimenting on a nice entry to like get back into the loop again w on both directions. That's what behind that is what is behind here. This does not really it works, yeah, it works, but it's kind of ugly. Um, if you want to go this way, you take the same take if you want to go this way, you take this entry, it works. And if you want to go this way, you take this entry, but it's kind of ugly. It sends you back over here, through here. Let's go this way. Um, I'm not really pleased with this yet. Also, it uses quite a lot of entrances and therefore energy, and that's not really what I wanted. But let's go in here. And then if everything goes correctly, we will be launched this way. Yeah, and stop at this station. <laughs> and then we go back to start. Because it was really funny, we will go through all destinations of this transportation system. And this is still open for improvement. Maybe with a special way of splitting the route, you can make it even more comfortable. And now, right now, I'm holding C, so we accelerate and go. Okay, this is a misfire, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of lame. And now I can't even stop it from going this way. That's kind of bad. Because <laughs> this road really is very, very far. Yeah, 
I'm gonna stop this recording right now and get you back to start as soon as possible. So we have finally reached the exit and I was able to teleport back. You can't teleport while in a hypertube. Um, let's go through it again and see if it works this time. Maybe I've made some build errors. This is still a really early stage. Gets you quite fast though. No, we're back <laughs> with quite some speed too. Um, this is quite ki kind of a fun way to get around. I like, I really like it because you can decide if you want to stop or not. But it's some, it's still tricky and uses a lot of power. Um, let's go back to the start. Um, I've also been experimenting with the almighty antenna like the future of transportation in satisfactory it works sometimes but not always um, I've tried to tame it and it even works sometimes like if you whack this antenna yeah you're gone <laughs> um, yeah it's yeah now I'm dead um, I guess it's a too powerful beast to tame uh, but yeah maybe someone finds out a way to tame it Okay, guys, have a good one. There was people FPS with the energy efficient tie for loop.